Hello guys, this is Pojita Harish and I will be uploading CA interviews with detailed explanation and solving it completely. So please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and because that keeps me motivated to do more videos. Thank you guys. Illustration 14. The profit for the year of RJ Limited works out to 12.5% of the capital employed and the relevant figures are as under. Sales direct materials direct labors variable overhead capital employed the new sales manager who has joined the company recently estimates for the next year of a profit about 23 percent on the capital employed provided the volume of sales is increased by 10 percent and simultaneously there is an increase in the selling price of four percent and on overall cost reduction in the elements of cost by two percent required to find out by computing in detail the cost and profit for the next year whether the proposal of the sales manager can be accepted or not okay chalo let's do that in this question there will be three scenario under normal condition is first scenario second condition is when the sales is increased to increase by 10 percent and third scenario is where the selling price is increased by four percent and there is a cost reduction by 2%. So we have to make 3 columns. Statement showing. Statement showing cost and profit. For the next year. Particulars. This is existing sales volume. And this is increase in the sales volume and the estimated sales. First sales. So first we will write off the existing thing then we will go for second and third sales sales they have given here it as 5 lakhs less variable cost so variable variable overhead there is some thing like direct material is there direct labor is there and uh, variable overheads are there Okay, so direct material is 2,50,000, direct labor is 1 lakh, variable overhead is 40,000. So this comes to, this comes to 1,10,000, sales minus variable cost will be contribution, contribution. less fixed cost so in this question fixed cost is not given we'll calculate it separately i'll show you how to calculate this fixed cost is equal to sales minus variable cost minus profit so here sales is 5 lakh minus variable cost variable cost will be total of these these three two lakh fifty thousand one lakh plus forty thousand okay two lakh fifty thousand plus one lakh plus forty thousand again minus Profit is 12.5%, 12.5% of the capital employed. So here capital employed will be 4 lakhs. It is given in the question. Capital employed 4 lakhs. They have given in the question. And they said that the profit for the year will be 12.5% of the capital employed. That's why you are considering profit as 12.5% into this 4 lakhs. This will be 5 lakhs minus 
थ्री लैख नाइंटी थाउजेंड माइनस प्रॉफिट विल कम्स टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दैट विल बी सिक्सटी थाउजेंड के वी गॉट द फिक्स कॉस्ट फिक्स कॉस्ट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट इज already we have calculated but still it is 50000 okay this is for the first normal sales the existing sales volume and they have said here the next is 10% increase in volume of the sales so 10% increases 5 lakh plus 10% will come to 5 lakh 50000 If sales increases automatically, all the cost will increase. So direct material also increases. Plus, same thing, ten percent. If you do two lakh seventy five thousand. Next, one lakh ten thousand. Next, forty four thousand. So the total will be one lakh twenty one thousand, and fixed cost will be the fixed fixed cost will remain same for all the years, irrespective of the production. So it is same. The profit for this will be sixty one thousand, and here they have said that the sale price. Per unit is increased by four percent, and the cost will be reduced by two percent. So sale will be increased by four percent, but all these cost will reduce by two percent. So plus four percent. Okay, five lakh fifty thousand plus four percent will gives five lakh seventy two thousand. Then this all cost. So it is it should be reduced by two percent. Two lakh seventy five thousand minus two percent will be two lakh sixty nine thousand five hundred. This minus two percent, one lakh seven thousand eight hundred. This minus two percent, forty three thousand one twenty. So the total of this, I mean, five lakh seventy two thousand minus all these cost is one lakh fifty one thousand. Five eighty. Fixed cost also. Cost includes fixed cost. So, cost sixty thousand minus two percent will be fifty eight thousand. Fifty eight thousand eight hundred. The profit will be ninety two thousand seven eighty. Now, we shall find out whether to accept or reject the manager's proposal. We'll see what is the profit percentage. So profit is equal to ninety-two thousand seven eighty divided by the profit is calculated on the capital employed. That's why we are writing it as four lakhs into hundred. So it comes to twenty-three point one nine percent profit. already the manager has estimated estimated 23% so this profit is more than the is more than the 23.23% so that's why we can consider this as the best project and we can further proceed with this project this is the 14th question that's all guys Thank you for watching please watch more videos which is very detailed in explanation and i have posted it it is in the playlist all the marginal costing problems are solved and it is sorted in the playlist please go and check thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel thank you also watch all other illustrations regarding to this chapter and i'll provide the link below in the description box please do watch it